The welcome was standard for a visiting Prime Minister, but impressive nevertheless. President Suharto was there, so too was the Military Guard of Honour and a 21-gun salute. Indonesia likes to impress its guests, and Mr Hawke is no exception, even if relations are strained. This morning, the Prime Minister went through the traditional ritual of wreath-laying, this time at Kalibata, the National Heroes Cemetery, then on to the palace for talks with the President. Here, reconciling party policy with foreign policy could prove a difficult and sensitive task for Mr Hawke. Labor's policy says Australia should cease military aid to Indonesia until it withdraws all troops from East Timor and allows that country self-determination. But President Suharto won't accept that. As I said, the Indonesians like to impress, but there's a limit to Javanese generosity. And when it comes to the future of East Timor, the best that we can hope for is that the two leaders will agree to disagree. In his talks with the President, Mr Hawke reaffirmed Australia's regret that Indonesia had denied East Timor self-determination, but he also accepted that was about all Australia could effectively achieve. That is, in the past, uh, it was appropriate that uh, we not uh, vacillate about that or be devious. We wanted to make it clear that that is the position of this government. Now, having said that, uh, we looked uh, then to the future.